we also want to check in with our buddy Jeff Marr. He's back. Yeah. We want to see what is trending on uh, Twitter and also what people are talking about on Facebook. Hello there, sir. Hello. Happy Monday to you guys. Happy and Monday. Happy Monday to everyone else. Uh, is there anywhere you guys want to uh, fly to, maybe? Uh, Hawaii, LA. Hawaii, Las Burbank? Vegas, LA. Uh -huh. Well, look at it. this. It, it didn't work, did it? No, <laughs> no. No. Dang. <laughs> look at this. Uh, Southwest Airlines. Wow. You just uh, get this message from on Facebook. Receive two free Southwest Airlines tickets today. Only 172 left, so you better hurry now. It's a scam. And have you it's noticed a fishing too, scam? Do the not number was dropping, there. and I, and I it's thought it's still oh, maybe dropping. It's, real. Yeah. it's dropping on my screen. It's yeah. going down. It, it was uh, at eight nine hundred. Mm -hmm. You know, when I first logged on. So now what it's happens 170. when you click? Nothing. Well, Nothing it says clicks, post but it's, this, and when yeah. you post it, then it says you can't post that link. There's there's no such link. Right, and in the meantime, the scammer ha can get access to your personal information. So. Okay. Stay away from that. All right. Um, another thing is uh, this Newsweek article on the front cover. We've been talking about Florida and Gingrich and Romney. Wow. Hmm. They look great at their age, don't they? <laughs> That's interesting. You know, I knew Romney was a good looking guy, but, you know, in that gladiator attire and Gingrich. So know, lifelike, isn't it's it? It's so lifelike. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and we're going to be uh, you know, talking more about that, of course. And then I wanted to kind of go over this here. This is the most popular story on Facebook news story. This is a woman in Des Moines, Iowa. She gave birth to a 13 pound oh. boy oh. named uh, Asher, not Ashton. Oh. Okay. Uh, 13 Asher. pounds, 12 ounces. He was nine days past due and uh, it was all natural, uh, oh. natural delivery. And uh, yeah, no meds, no meds. Uh, the mother didn't know how to describe the feeling of having uh, this big baby. And you know what? There's plenty of days where I'm just happy to be a man. And <laughs> man. this is yeah. one of those moments, Dan. What's the line? If men gave birth, we'd have zero population growth. Yeah, that's about right. I mean, I feel bad happen. for my mom. I was 10 pounds, 9 oh, ounces. You're a big baby. But yeah, 13 pounds, 12 ounces. That's that, I huge. Mean, that's closer to 14. Just go ahead and round just, it yeah, out. 14. <laughs> 14 pounder. Jeez. Yeah. So. That's a big baby. Good thing she made it. Yep. Mm -hmm. You haven't had any children yet, have no, you? No, no, and no. Baby that size would darn near kill you. That's, <laughs> yeah. That'd be a huge baby okay, for you. Okay, the images. The, okay. Well. Like it's interesting whether it's President Obama, Governor Brown, or Mayor Johnson, jobs. That's mm -hmm. at the top of the list in their speeches. Yeah, that's the number one theme everywhere. Yeah. All right, thank you, sir. All right, we're going to check in now with Jeff Marr, who's tracking what you're talking about out there. All right, Jeff. Give it to us. Yeah, okay. Well, going from State of the City to uh, SAG Awards. That's a okay. good transition. <laughs> you know, All right, awkward uh, segue there. Well, a lot of people are talking about uh, best and worst dress. Some people can get away with this. Uh, Leah Michelle is one of them. Ooh, you know, wow. the long the slit showing off the, the leg. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got uh, some of the, yeah, not not what so well that? dressed. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this is Boosie Phillips, and uh, yeah, you know, I know the 60s are kind of making a comeback, yeah, but, but let's just leave that in the closet, maybe. Okay. Mm. Um, also, worst dressed is uh, this interesting little number, Heather Morris. This is part leather, by the way, and it just really didn't work. You know, well. leather is in this. It is. Yes. Leather or pleather? Leather. Either. Either leather, one? but okay. finding, yeah. uh, you'll find a lot of uh, outfits with pieces of leather in random locations. It's in. So says someone. Right. <laughs> someone. I don't know who, I'm just saying. Uh, also, a lot of people are talking about this. Uh, this is uh, a car that was unveiled in Europe. And, you know, cars are getting smaller and smaller, but this one actually uh, packs up to the size of a stroller. No way. It does. It's, uh, it's a vehicle that uh, I guess you can expect to see on the streets pretty soon. Um, it's called the Hariko. And I'm going to scroll down here to a picture of it kind of folded up there. You know, so. Wow. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Well, hopefully it doesn't do that upon impact, too. Well, that's the thing. You know, we go from the Mini Cooper to the smart car. It keeps getting smaller. I won't go there because you know that when those cars get hit, it's going to be like a ping pong streets, no freeway. ball. If all the cars yeah. were that size, you'd be fine. But you take that up against one of those expeditions or something huge. Right. And on Friday, you guys were talking about Ferris Bueller, weren't you? Yeah, yes, making a comeback. What about making a comeback? Mm -hmm. At least for the Super Bowl. He is. Let's take a look at this commercial. Movies bring so much joy. Stop. It's done. Just get some rest. Diva. He bought it. <laughs> How can I handle work on a day like today? One of the worst performances of my career, and he never doubted it for a second. Hi, can I get my CRV brought up, please? I've got a lot to do today. Roderick. Oh. Roderick. <laughs> You have excellent taste in automobiles. 
Life is packed with things you have to do. Sometimes you gotta live a little. Calm yourself, woman. That's the principal, right? Yeah, or, or the teacher, his boss, or whatever. Right, yeah. 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 The or his dad. No, it's a scene with his dad. Was that his dad? Resist. Look, I don't know what to tell you. He's sick. Actors get sick sometimes. Thanks. Have a good night. You know, <laughs> what? I know. <laughs> it goes on for a while. I think. I think that's about where it ends. Let's uh, let's X out of there. You know, and you'll watch the full version, of course, in the Super Bowl. Yes. I can't imagine how much money they are paying for that. That's but what I'm saying. How much did Honda for? Yeah, if they ran that, that whole thing. That'd be 12 yeah. million bucks. Very that cool. About Three though. million a 30 second spot. Yeah, this is about 2:30. But but imagine, you know, maybe this will uh, inspire uh, a Ferris Bueller Part Two. What do you think? Or hey. people to buy CRV Hondas. Or that. Yeah. yeah, that's the goal. Yeah. For Honda. I love it. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks. All right. You dropped that. Thank you. There we go. Hey, let's <laughs> check in with News 10. So Jeff Mard, you getting reaction to that Forrest Bueller clip that you uh, showed us? Uh, no, not getting anything on that. But I did want to bring this up. You guys talked about this on the morning show. The winner of the Australian Open. Oh was, yeah. Do you remember his name? Novak, Novak. Djokovic. Yeah. Well, Kiba just. You know, I know Melted. you loved the, the picture, the video <laughs> of him um, taking off smiling. his shirt. She's still smiling. Pull her down. I'm I sure. tried will to find you play it, please? And no, everyone will well, understand. I tried to find Again? a still image. Again? How many image. times have you seen yeah, this yeah. thing this a morning? Couple. Yeah. I tried to find a still image. I couldn't do it. So, I, But I did find a picture of him um, on a beach somewhere, and I posted it on your desk. That's your desk. Oh. And oh. So it's on your computer when Thank you get you. back. Ah. Thank you, Jeff. Okay. Very kind of you. Now, not dad. Also, not I could not I could not get enough of this survey that came out showing that 15% of men out there would opt for going to the Super Bowl instead of watching the birth of their child. Their first so, child. Their first child. So we got some matter. comments on that. Robert says, only if the 49ers were in it. It'd be one Super Bowl game, but a lifetime of resentment, not to mention all the arguments you would lose. <laughs> Sounds like a married uh, man. Yeah. Jason man. says, a childbirth is one of the best moments of a person's life, and I would never miss a child of mine being born. I can watch the Super Bowl in the hospital room. And Cliff says, I suspect those 15% have never witnessed such a miracle. You know what? If you've Good been through it, so. that's, that's the answer you'd get. And I haven't. No. So I, have no, I would well, probably go to the Super Bowl. not on the viewing Bowl. end. What? You're at the other end. With <laughs> right. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks to you. We hope you have a great day today. Don't forget the State of the City address coming up at 1230. We'll see you tomorrow.